Let's talk hard case crime. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got for you a Stephen King hard case crime talk. Uh, I guess I'll call it that. Um, where I'm going to be discussing the three hard case crime books written by Stephen King. In publication order, you have The Colorado Kid, Joyland, and the one that came out this year, Later. Uh, general statement about the hard case crime stuff. It has not been the best thing for me to read uh, until Later happened. And what I mean by that is it has not been a favorite of mine so far. The first one I read was Colorado Kid, which was a year ago. I then read Later. Then I read Joyland. Uh, I, I mean, overall... The whole hard case crime for me with Stephen King has been, if it wasn't for later, it would be a complete shot thing and I would never read them again. Um, but since later was as good as it was, I'm willing to give a fourth one a chance if he chooses to write a fourth one. I mean, I'm going to read whatever he puts out, so it doesn't make a difference. If you like stuff like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me uh, get started with the first book here. The first book I'm going to talk about is the first one I read last year, and that is The Colorado Kid. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I think I gave this three stars when I read it. I honestly do not remember a lick of anything about this book. I like know the vague synopsis on the back. Um, somebody gets murdered and ends up being the Colorado Kid, which I think is like a famous murderer. And these two elderly gentlemen are in an interview with a younger woman, kind of explaining the backstory about this guy and kind of piecing together like, what happened? Was it foul play? Like, well, what happened with this guy and how he died? That is the vague thing I remember about this book. It really was not good. I really did not enjoy it. And it was kind of a bad start for the hard case crime because I knew Joyland was in existence. And at the time I read this, Later was not announced yet. And so I, at the time I was like excited. I'm like, all right, I've only got one more of these things I got to read. And then Later got announced. And I was like, crap. Now, there's two more I gotta read. Colorado Kid was not good for me. Back then, I think he gave it three stars on my Goodreads. I think it's also labeled as three stars. But actuality, yeah, I'm gonna have to probably give it like one star, one and a half. It really was not a good book for me. I really didn't enjoy it. Uh, and I know I'm gonna get blasted in the comments because I probably misunderstood anything about this book and the synopsis I just gave on it probably is not 100% accurate. But I really just don't remember anything about this book. I really did not enjoy it. So I know there's books like that out there for everybody. I just, like, I don't know. It was meh. I really hated it. So, which actually this popped up on my, I don't know if it was Biggest Disappointments or if it was my top worst Stephen King books. Either way, whichever one it was on, we'll post that up here if you want to check out that video. It just was not a good book for me. So there you have book one. It was Hard Case Crime Books, which I think came on 05 or 06. And that is The Colorado Kid. The next one that is going to be talked about in here, it's not the next one that I read, but it's the next one that was published. And I want to say it was uh, 2013, I think this one was published, and that is Joyland. So I actually enjoyed this one a lot more than Colorado Kid, but not as much as later. So what I will say with the trend I noticed in terms of how he wrote them, he got better. Just like uh, Riley Sager did with his books, in my opinion. You know, Final Girls was the first one, not the best. Home Before Dark, his latest one that I have read, I know he's got a new one coming out this year. Home Before Dark was a five star, it's a really good book. And Final Girls, which was the first one, not so much. Um, but Joyland is nice smack dab in the middle. It was a really solid book, it had a good premise, good story. Guy works at a carnival. Some foul plays going on. He meets this woman. I mean, there are some confusing parts, like the time framing. Like, they're, like some parts he's like the kid. Other parts he's like writing in a journal or something when he's older. And then there's like that weird in-between phase where I don't remember where his age was even mentioned. Um, but suddenly he's like, I don't know if it's married or suddenly he's seeing a woman. And... I kind of lost track somewhat towards like the three quarter mark and then I picked it back up like the last like 20 pages. Um, but overall Joyland was a decent story. I think I ended up giving it three and a half, possibly four stars. 
Uh, I don't quite remember. Um, check out the Goodreads down below, because um, I know that we did something for it down there. But it was either three or four stars. I don't... could have been three and a half. I don't remember. But it was a lot better than Colorado Kid, I'll say that much. So, there you have Joyland. And the last one I'm going to talk about is the second one I actually read in this hard case crime stuff is Later. This came out this year. I gave this book five stars. And I love the hell out of this. It kind of references some older King stuff. Let me give you some background on the book first. So Jamie is a little boy who has got some psychic powers where if somebody has died, they can he can talk to that dead person for X amount of time and the dead person has to answer every question honestly. Like, what was your last meal? They gotta answer it. They can't lie. And one day, uh, his mom is a single mother, but at the time is dating a woman officer, so it's a lesbian couple, and, like, the cop is, like, I mean, at first she's, like, nice, but then Jamie kind of notices, like, she's kind of a bitch, and she's not really that nice, and they break up, and one day when Jamie's leaving, I think from school or a library, the policewoman is there, and it's like, we need to go solve this crime, because... You know, this person set a bomb somewhere, and he just recently died. And so Jamie is recruited by the woman officer to go talk to the person and figure out where the last bomb is. And for the first time ever, the spirit tells Jamie, no, like, I'm not answering your question. And Jamie is confused as hell. This is the first time this has ever happened to him. And so he's like, uh, what? What do you mean, no? And he's, like, refusing to because there's some spirit that's latched onto that body, the dead person, and it's refusing to answer the question. And so, finally, he goes and sees his doctor. He explains his situation, and the doctor says, have you ever heard of something I can't say because it'll spoil the book? It's something that references older Stephen King books, and I know when I first when this first was released, one of my, one of the people I follow on Instagram posted the scene and like cropped it out and was like, what the hell? And when I read it, I was like, oh dude, that's, that's intense. So I was very excited about that part and I absolutely loved it. I, that's what made me fall in love with this. Cause this is more of a horror book than it was a, like a crime book. And it's like referenced numerous times by I don't know if it's like Jamie in the future writing this as like a memoir or something, or if it's like Stephen King like actually putting it in the book. But he was like, I remind you, this is a horror story. Like, this is a horror story. Like, he keeps putting it in your head like, this is a horror story. It's not, you know, like a mystery thriller book. It's a horror book. And that's what we get with this book. That's why I gave it five stars. It's a really good book. And, uh, I mean, the, the part that references the older portion of King... I want them to build off of that. I'm hoping it leads to a sequel to another book. Oh my god. I like, it's hard to not spoil anything about this. And so I just think I need to shut up. So later, Stephen King, the latest hard case crime book, five stars. My all-time favorite out of the hard case crime. If he writes a fourth one, I'd be too upset about it. I'd probably read it. But here you have later. All right. So there you have the hard case crime books by Stephen King. Starting, in my opinion, worst to best. But you don't have to read them in any chronological order. There's no, like, sequence of events that take place like the Dark Tower. It's, you know, they're all their own separate story. Uh, no characters reoccur, at least by what I caught, so it doesn't make a difference which way you read them. But if you are going to pick one of these up, I would choose later. Um, but all three of them we'll have linked down below if you want to check out all any of them. Feel free. If you want to differ with me on Colorado Kid, go ahead. Let me know in the comments what you liked about it. I was confused. I just really didn't enlight, enjoy it. So, uh, but yeah, there you have the Hard Case Crime Books. If he writes a fourth one, I'm all for it. I'll give it a read. It's got to have some horror aspect to it. Don't make it too crimey like the other two. And also, what was your favorite Hard Case Crime book? Whether it's by Stephen King or any of the other people who wrote Hard Case Crime. Because I know there's a whole bunch of them. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like Colorado Kid, let me know why. Um, but yes, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. Later.